one big up the judge ready with the appeal from me I step through the gate out a GP me for big her up me see me where Bishop McDonald <laughs> Right now, no. you see me. I say, sure I get this right, so they know what I'm talking about. Um, the, the, the energy is kind of uh, I feel it mad right now because Flower Boss is free. <laughs> Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to another update. So, we see where Sean Storm is big up the judge, you know, McDonald Bishop. Who basically send them a road, you know, him and Vibes Cartel, Kyra Jones and Andre St. John. Yeah, man, you know, Sean Storm, I give thanks. So, we show you that video. But also, a Vibes Cartel lawyer, Isaac Buchanan, saying that Sir P deserves the biggest award because him talk about the case so much. Uh, that's why Vibes Cartel free and their road now. So, we're going to show you that video too, as well, alongside with some other updates. But before we get into all these updates, please remember to leave a like on this video very important also subscribe to the channel if you have subscribed as yet and leave your thoughts down in the comment section so now viewers we see where sean storm done a recent live and the man basically a big up the judge and the case you know justice marva mcdonald bishop yeah man sean storm basically a send out i say yo he might give thanks for the judge you know big up the judge a friend him left gp is supposed to big up the judge because yo without that judge then would have still there in a lock up so sean storm i give thanks you so check this out and tell me what you think what a road my dad a independence week emancipation day but a Gaza emancipation is it? How are you here free? Mm -hmm. Free at last. Free at last. You wanna, wanna comment free at last? And um, glory to God, yeah. Coming free at last, glory to God. That is it. That one, see. Are you hear me? If you pan alive, yeah? One big up the judge ready with the appeal. You see me? One big up. From me, I step through the gate. Out a GP, me for big her up. You see me? Where? Bishop McDonald. Yeah, man. And there are, there are, there are few judges them to call it three of them. But the lead one, I think now she had the president for the appeal court. You see me? That judge, they fear. Yeah man, I'm not talking merry go round and ferris wheel. Eh? But you still feel happy like you there and fear the way you should fear. So yeah man, big R up. You see me? Um they are Gaza nation man in emancipation. Yeah. So there are it viewers, you know, Sean Storm basically a big up the judge, the man I give thanks for life, get free just in time for independence and them thing there because if it wasn't for the judge, you know, the judge could have basically sent it back for retrial and then now the would have to spend a bag of money going back and forth with the case and who to tell if they might get sentenced again, you know, due to where them could have fined. So you know due to the interest of justice you know the judge released sean storm vibes cartel and the other co-accused but you viewers can tell me what you think about this leave it in the comment section so now viewers we have vibes cartel liar isaac buchanan basically a clone out serpy right now yo 
Isaac Buchanan are one of the happiest man right now. The man start imitate Sir P voice. The man basically make it be known say, you know, Sir P is supposed to be awarded. Sir P is supposed to get a medal because there's no blogger that talk about cartel like Sir P. Not in a good light though. So the man has say ah, because that too, you know, public opinion, colored perception out there in the public. That are one of the main reasons to why, you know them Sean Storm Vibes Cartel and co-accuse them boss of the case and come back a road they man imitate Sir P voice and I'm a Sir P so viewers check out what Isaac who can have to say and tell me what you think sure I get this right so they know what I'm talking about um the the, the energy is kind of uh I'm feeling mad right now because Barabbas is free I don't know what I'm gonna do because Barabbas is free yeah anyway um so the energy oh so one so remember i'm telling you about the compendium and the the, the 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 people who come together let me tell you something the person who deserves the biggest award is sir p i mean he started the 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 the, the, the sensationalism and to ensure that the people did not understand what the seminal issues were so there you have it viewers you know Isaac Buchanan and Vibes Cartel are a style up you know Sir P in the neatest and most intelligent way the man say Sir P talk about the case so much it make the people not really understand and that is what set Vibes Cartel free you know Sir P and Isaac Buchanan they do see eye to eye what you the viewers can tell me you think leave it in the comment section Anthony B thanks UHWI medical staff after life saving surgery returns to stage. Reggae firebrand artist Anthony B will be making his return performance Friday at the Reggae on the River show in California after recuperating from surgery to correct a life threatening medical condition. The medical condition revealed to be a punctured intestine. Nick is reggae some fest performance last month. The fire pan room singer revealed that he felt a terrible pain in his belly during his reggae some fest rehearsal with his band at Down Sound Records. I felt this pain in my belly. Terrible, terrible. I went to the hospital and they said I have a punctured tripe something leaking inside of me so i had to go to the emergency room and do an emergency surgery immediately anthony b revealed in a video posted to his instagram account the doctors performed the life-saving surgery and he was discharged on july 30. he thanked the medical staff at university hospital of the west indies who completely performed the difficult surgical procedure he was unconscious for 48 hours after the surgery i want to also thank the medical staff at university hospital in mona yes i gotta big them up it was nine ten hours of surgery i went in after 12 on the 18th of july and i didn't wake up until the 20th of july it was when i woke up that i realized all the things my body went through Hose through my nose, who's here and there, so I am here, alive, giving thanks. So I want to big up all the doctors and I told them thanks a thousand times, he said. The Red the Barn singer had a sobering reminder about the fragility of life and how in one instant it could all be taken away. No one knows the minute, no one knows the second. We are here because of the grace and mercy of the creator of all things, the father of all things, the giver of life. So for all the things that I do, I will forever be giving thanks to the most I to be here, Anthony B said. Anthony B acknowledged the support of Reggae Sumfest, Joe Bagdadovich and Cardell Scatterbarrel and his own family unite during his ordeal yeah viewers so that's you know reggae singer anthony b giving thanks after a near death experience you know so the man has said had a punctured tripe and so forth and he's giving thanks to the people at the hospital who saved his life he would undergo a 48 hour surgery yo people that know now also big up anthony b you know legendary singer so now if you are speaking of scatter Burrell, we see where scatter Burrell made a video addressing busy signal you know after busy signal done an interview and you know i think it was er with anthony miller yeah where he must say you know joe bagdanovich and the whole team scatter them unprofessional because the last reggae sunfest you know performance that he did his time was cut short 
and his contract stated that he had an hour and 17 minutes in his performance him see man on the sideline and top them watch said time is up so you know scatterberrell did a recent video on instagram to address the whole issue and address busy signal so viewers i'm gonna run what scatterberrell have to say and you the viewers tell me what you think don't forget to leave a like on this video why vibes scatter is not and the wall is not completed as yet okay everybody asking the wall not finished yet so i'm gonna stop reading the comments now because i want to stay focused so when an artist like Busy Signal come forward and make certain speech, it deserves to be um, addressed because he's, as, as I said, he's very influential and he has a huge platform and he's highly respected. And it deserves to be addressed. He knows how to treat an artist. And when I said an artist, I'm talking local artists. That's you know, surprising stuff. They, they don't appreciate you and scatter. They don't appreciate us as local artists. You know what I mean? I've seen the I've seen the treatment that an uh, international artist got. You know what I mean? Name one song face. Or even before some face. Before me born now when I was a little toddler. Name one sun splash that an international artist outdo a local artist. Okay. Reggae Sunfest has not hosted an international act from twenty seventeen to twenty twenty three and Anybody know who about Reggae Sum Fest? From Beyonce to Akon, the biggest stars have been featured on Reggae Sum Fest. Biggest international act. And for we to make that decision to not put another international act on up until this year, that says a lot. The resources that it takes to bring in an international act, we put that into producing a show with a proper aesthetics, stage, lighting, proper decor, and we invest in paying the Jamaican acts them better. That's where the resources went. And for many, many years, as you can see, no international acts has been featured on Reggae Sound Fest. We geared all of that towards dance hall and reggae artists. We are not biased. We are booking an international act is concerned and comparing them with, with Jamaican acts. And even when we place, if we are supposed to place an international act on the stage, there's no comparison. Jamaica is the farming ground for, for music and performance. Jamaican artists, they are some of the best performers in music anywhere in the world. But we're not making a comparison this because when we, if we're supposed to book an international act, it's because there's a demand for it. It's not because we are trying to show Jamaica act or put them down, no. It's just based on business. There's a demand for it. Okay? But be specific. The whole thing fall apart. What happened specifically? I've been approached by Joe Bogdanovich many times, you know, in terms of doing something. I guess his staff and the people who claim they know stuff, it, it, it's just garbage. Big garbage. One specific time was uh, the last time I did service was uh, I don't remember the year, but I had a contract. I had a contract for our set. Well, let me rewind this. Very important. Listen keenly, please. Our. Listen keenly. I had a contract. I had a contract for our but set. I had a contract. I had a contract for our set. And on the stage i think i was there reaching us you know maybe i think it was 17 minutes in my performance some guy was on the side of the stage showing me a time like hey like every time i look to the side i see someone hitting the time and saying you know they gotta rush me off to put a different artist on or, or sometimes it's push back so it's unprofessional okay so i will put it here clearly this is said one particular time first of all him said joe reach out to you a lot to, um to do the show and i want him to know this you see every time joe reach out to you for the show mr garden every time joe reach out to you to do the reggae some is the team i and i and a few others reminding that yo me could try but busy every single time it's not joe's all doing alone this is a team because the team respect your craft and all of us plug the thing and say yo try get busy you say we are garbage because we are garbage fine Listen keenly. The man said he had a contract and he was slated to perform for an hour. Now, 
I don't know which contract you got, but you never have a contract that slated that you, you were supposed to perform for an hour. You did not have a contract slated to perform for I an hour. I have the contract here. And where it says time of performance or whatever, it did not say nothing about duration of performance. However, there's a running order that listed your duration of performance and it was explained to you and your management team. The only thing that was mentioned in your contract, and I have it here, it's a paragraph two at a certain part in the contract and I have highlighted it. I'm going to show it to you, the public. I don't want to show anything else out of respect for business. This is where time allotted to busy signal is mentioned in, in the contract the time of performance the artist agrees to do a performance as described in the agreement with the time specified by promoter the actual time of the performance may be subject to change and these changes shall be communicated to the artist within seven days of the festival any failure by the artist to perform for the time agreed will result at the promoter's discretion in a reduction of the fee payable to the artist by the promoter this is at the promoter's discretion nowhere in business signals contract was it slated that he was supposed to perform for an hour let me explain this aspect now the reason why business signal could not have been slated to perform for an hour is because no one on the show was slated to perform for an hour. No artist. We had Luciana, Taurus Riley, Supercat, Barrington Levy, Sanchez. So we have business signal here, right? And nowhere on this lineup do we have business signal slated to perform for an hour or any other artist, right? Look at busy signal. This is where busy signal performs. This is 12 o'clock, 1221. 1221. Uno Army time. This is 1221 a.m. So 1221 to 1251. 30 minutes. Busy signals was allotted 30 minutes to perform. See the times of the other artist Sanchez? 45 minutes. Barrington Levy, 45 minutes. Supercat, 40 minutes. Taurus Riley, 45 minutes, because he's a singer mostly. Luciana, 45 minutes. No artist was allotted an hour to perform. So, I want to know, write that down. The man said he was booked to perform for an hour. No artist was booked to perform for an hour, including Business Signal. I hope that explained that part there. So, may I deal with So, when you have somebody as influential as Business Signal come on the internet, or do a program and make these kind of statements who wouldn't believe him it's a busy signal to tour the world we make the biggest song why nobody know why some first wrong when you drop the ball as people have said but i'm showing the proof no artist was booked to perform for an hour not even 50 minutes look at this now jamaica is the farming ground and everybody want to see their favorite acts on show especially a big show so we have to tour the line to accommodate your favorite and accommodate the biggest and the best at the same time so the, the time can be as big as performing on an upsala reggae festival when busy signal is on the stage and he says there was a stage manager at the side beckoning to him and telling him that hurry up and i show him the time the reason why that is done is because when an artist on a rehearsal on a rehearsal 30 minute set right in rehearse this 30 minute set and everything fits nice however when they get on a stage and start to perform dance hall and reggae artists have this thing where them say level and them talk and they make some speech and them address certain social issues or them talk to the audience to build a vibe and every time that they go so i say level and talk they will talk for 30 seconds they will talk for a minute or they will talk for two minutes so artists were really so set for 30 minutes but go on the stage and go level and do an intro for each song and talk in between the songs he will add easily add 10 minutes to himself so a 30 minute set will turn into a 40 minute set and if every artist who's on the show does that which they normally do you know who suffers the artists who come late in the show so that's how the show start to run late 
So when an artist is on stage and he's doing a lot of talking on the stage man and his joint manager is beckoning to him say, listen, you have 10 minutes, you have 5 minutes. I know it can trigger anxiety and you can be offended by it, but it is his duty to show you, say, don't talk too much or your time will run fast or something because if the management not do it, somebody have to do it. So, this is signal who have a 30 minute set. His set can easily turn into 40 minutes. Now, he left the stage at probably 35 minutes. And he did the, the like, for first two lines of Jamaica Love. First two lines of Jamaica Love. If you go on YouTube, you will see his entire set. He left the stage at about 35 minutes. Once again, I say that may be a too short. That set is too short for a busy signal. However, we can debate about that. But he was scheduled to perform for 30 minutes, not an hour. When a promoter book you overseas, he'll tell you how long he wanted to work. So if we say we wanted to do a 30 minute set and it is listed, you're supposed to adhere to it. No matter how you feel. No disrespect. See me? Because the reason why I clear up these things, you know, because as I say, Busy Signal is a very in influential artist and the stuff that he says carries weight. And another thing is like, a lot of people want to know. They want to know why these things always happen. Why people always come out and make disparaging um, argument and so forth. So yeah, I mean, I'm used to professionalism worldwide. You know what I mean? I, I'm just coming from the summer job. <laughs> to the Water Tom Splash and the Reggae Jam and the Uppsala Festival. These are bigger festival than Sophie's, way bigger festival than Sophie's. And um, the professionalism is surreal. Because if you're going to compare a summer jam to a Reggae Sum Fest, there's a few things that you're not supposed to leave out. Different to a summer jam and a Reggae Sum Fest, summer jam has two stages. So this is red stage and this is green stage and these venues are very are huge there's no there's no big venues in jamaica to accommodate certain um amount of patrons so when he's comparing a summer jam to a, to a um a, a reggae sum fest here's the difference two stage in one venue so two shows going on at the same night at the same time so this is this is Sontag. So this is German or whatever. I don't know what language this is. This is German, I think. And it is Sunday. And this is Samstag. This is Saturday. This is Sam Free Tag. This is Friday. Right? So it's three days of festival. And there's two stage. On one stage, on a Friday night, you have one, two, three, four, five, six artists. And on the next stage, you have one, two, three, four, five, six artists. The show begins, and on, on the red stage, it begins at 4.30, 2.30, and ends at 10.25 on the red stage. And on the green stage, it begins at 2.55 and ends at 10.20. So this is basically about, what? sorry, it's about eight hours. So imagine one, two, three, four, five, six artists having eight hours to perform. That's how Summer Jam can give them an hour or more. You understand me? So this is a Friday night, you know, and you have on one stage, you have Busy Signal, you have Kali Buds, J Boog, Queen Omega, Jizzle, Omar Jatta. And on another stage, you have Cedar, Rain, Majan, you don't know none of, most of these people, but them qualify, the world be. Zane? So each of these artists now can be allotted over an hour to perform. If you check a Sumfest flyer on a Friday night, we have three times this amount of artists on a Friday night, on a dance hall night. Three times this amount of artists with the same eight to nine hour window. So there is no way we can allot an hour to each artist to perform. We have to give them between 25 and 30 minutes or even less. So this is a difference when someone say in Europe them get a whole heap of time. In a Europe, some artists have to sing Bob Marley song and I sing Dennis Brown, them sing out them whole catalog just to fill the performance time allotted to them. And this is only a Friday night. This is 12 artists with two stage on the Friday night 
at a festival, Summer Jam 2024. This is a show that Busy went on the other day. Diane was booked on it as well. This is a Saturday night. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight artists on the red, red stage and eight artists on the green stage. Once again, I am telling you that there's two stages in this venue. There are huge venues. You understand me? You have 